Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! You're insane! That explosion was massive! You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. crazy things or despite it. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe seems upset about something. But I don't want to pry. Maybe I'll get it out of her later.
Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Whoa, talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were 10, don't you think it's time to let the boys go? Not yet. Boy toys stay. For now. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Hey, did you see my dad's camera yet? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure, just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. 
Well, it wasn't exactly the purge Mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long Mac Silver. You were such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek. Fine eyes, spot two. Uh, pirate wenches. <laughs> what a Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of... <laughs> Treasures. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh, <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. Okay, okay. Forget.